Hello everyone, everyone, and welcome back. Today we're diving into the intriguing story of Victoria Helen McRae Duncan, a Scottish medium who holds the title of being the last person to be prosecuted under the Witchcraft Act of 1735. This tale is not only about Duncan's captivating performances as a medium, but also about the controversies and accusations that led to her eventual downfall. So, sit back and let's unravel the fascinating narrative of one of the most disputed figures in the world of paranormal events. Born to Archibald McFarlane and Isabella Rattray on November 25, 1897 in the serene town of Calender, Perthshire, Victoria Helen McFarlane was destined to live an extraordinary life. Victoria's childhood was marked by eerie prophecies and peculiar behavior that often left her peers terrified. However, her young life was not solely dominated by the supernatural. She worked at the Dundee Royal Infirmary, fell in love, and married Henry Duncan, a cabinet maker and war veteran, and together they raised six children. Amidst her domestic life and part-time job at a bleach factory, Victoria nurtured her unique abilities as a medium. In 1926, Victoria's life took a momentous turn. She evolved from a mere clairvoyant to a physical medium, conducting seances where she purported to materialize the spirits of the deceased through ectoplasm. She claimed that she was emitting the substance herself. However, this claim would soon be challenged. When photographer Harvey Metcalf attended one of her seances and documented her alleged spirit manifestations, including her spirit guide Peggy, the photos revealed a less supernatural reality. The so-called spirits were nothing but simple props including a doll made from a painted paper mache mask and an old sheet. Further investigations by the London Spiritual Alliance in 1931 exposed Victoria's ectoplasm as a concoction of cheesecloth egg white paper and laboratory paper stuck together. They even persuaded Victoria to swallow a methylene blue tablet before a seance to rule out any chance of her swallowing and regurgitating the ectoplasm, leading to their conclusion that the material was pre-swallowed and regurgitated for display. Despite the mounting suspicions, Victoria continued to perform. In 1931, Harry Price, a prominent physical researcher, paid Duncan a substantial sum to conduct a series of test seances. The results were shocking, but not in the way Duncan would have hoped. When attempts were made to x-ray her, Duncan reacted violently, causing a public scene, and Price's report exposed her fake ectoplasm and the fraudulent spirit she conjured. Further testimonies from her former maid and her own husband confirmed the fraudulent nature of her materializations. Victoria's deceit was laid bare during a seance in Edinburgh in 1933 when a sitter grabbed a supposedly manifested spirit of a little girl named Peggy only to discover it was a simple undervest. This led to her prosecution and a fine for fraudulent mediumship. This incident, coupled with Harry Price's exposure of her methods, led to her conviction and solidified her reputation as a fraud. However, Victoria's most controversial moment came during World War II. During a seance in 1941, she claimed that the spirit of a sailor informed her of the sinking of HMS Barham. This claim drew suspicion from the Navy as the sinking had not been made public knowledge yet. Her subsequent seances in 1944 led her to be arrested when her supposed spirit manifestations were revealed to be Duncan herself hidden behind a white cloth. While researcher Graham Donald suggests that Duncan could have easily acquired the information about the MHS Barham through gossip, her arrest led to a high profile trial. Duncan, along with her co-conspirators Ernest and Elizabeth Homer and Francis Brown, were charged under the Witchcraft Act of 1735 for fraudulent spiritual activity. Despite the lack of physical evidence and mixed witness testimonies, Duncan was barred from demonstrating her alleged powers in court and was subsequently convicted and imprisoned for nine months. This led to a public outcry with even Winston Churchill expressing disapproval over the misuse of court resources on the matter. Emerging from prison in 1945, Duncan vowed to renounce her seance conduct but she was arrested again during a seance in 1956, not long after she passed away in her Edinburgh home. Her controversial conviction probably contributed to the repeal of the Witchcraft Act and the Fraudulent Mediums Act of 1951, yet her conviction still stands and has been the subject of an ongoing campaign for its overturn. And that is all about the story of Victoria Helen McRae Duncan, a woman who had an extraordinary life marked by controversy, conviction, and an enduring place in the history of paranormal phenomena.
And that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I always appreciate it. I also appreciate reaching 500 subscribers recently. I noticed it and I just am not sure how to celebrate it yet. So any ideas definitely leave below in the comments. But yeah, thank you all so much.